Lenny's former postdocs and colleagues gathered at MIT to honor his work. Over the past several years, both Garante and Sinclair have been criticized. David had made millions in the search for sale to GSK. When students come to me and say, oh, I've got this great idea, basically my response is, yes, so what? Right? And that's what I learned from Lenny. You have to say, is this really going to surprise anyone? Is it going to make a difference in the world? Because if it isn't, it's still going to be a ton of work, and it's probably not worth doing. Um, so when you arrive in Lenny's lab, you need to learn to read his facial expressions. And there are a lot of them. I'll just share with you a few of them. Of course, I, I don't have a collection of photographs of these expressions. But if he likes what you've just said, and he's really thinking about it, this is the face. <laughs> that's what you're aiming for. That's, that's the, the approval. To get protection against, uh, let's say, uh, metabolic disease, like diabetes, is to have small molecules or compounds that could activate the sirtuins. And it turns out that there are such things. So for SIRT1, which is the, the main uh, sirtuin for uh, mammals, there are small molecules like uh, the substance in red wine, resveratrol, and uh, other molecules that have been described uh, that can actually activate the enzyme. And that's uh, very interesting. And it's led to really a, a surge uh, of interest in supplementation with uh, uh, resveratrol. So a lot of people I know take resveratrol supplements. Uh, I take it. And, um, it's, it's bound to be a good thing. The question is, how do you know the compounds are working? And for a disease, you know, we at least have a paradigm. It's clinical trials, double blind, placebo controlled. And, you know, that's the best you can do. And sometimes even that doesn't give clear results, but sometimes it does. But these are natural products. So these are not, these are, are likely to be safe. That's going to have to be confirmed, but they're very likely to be safe. So the question is, does it make sense to wait 15 years before you can get the benefit of something like NAD supplementation? Um, and you know, someone my age uh, is, I'm thinking, I don't want to wait 15 years. I want to be able to uh, uh, try something like this that's likely to be safe um, sooner rather than later. So this tension is, is going to play out. And um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But it's a very interesting time now. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, fortuitous that these very, very interesting small molecules we're talking about happen to be natural products. Do you want to tell me what they are? So the NAD precursors that uh, are being uh, used right now, there are two of them. One is called NR, or nicotinamide riboside, and the other is called NMN or nicotinamide mononucleotide. And both of them uh, are very similar to each other, and they both get converted into NAD inside of cells. So are, are these things used in combination? No, it's usually either or. 